Hello and welcome back to IME, where today we're going to be looking at long division, but making it simple. Before you continue with this video, make sure you are confident with the bus stop method dividing by a single digit. If you need to start there, you can find the video in the description below. If you're confident with single digit division, put your feet up and enjoy making two digit division easy. Get your feet off my dash. Okay, maybe not have our feet up unless you're at home and you're allowed. Let's move on and take a look at a question. Here, you have the question 544 divided by 17. Unfortunately, you can't use a calculator. And actually, the method isn't what people struggle with. The most difficult part is finding your multiples. And I know a trick to even make that easy. So the best way to calculate my times tables is to separate my two digits. I have 17, so I have 110 and 7 ones. I will colour code these to make it obvious for you. Ta-da! Then, all I need to do is each digit times table. My 1 times table is obvious, so I'll fast forward. Then, I need to do my 7 times table to the right of my 1 times table, making sure that 1 times 1 is on line with 1 times 7, and 2 times 1 is on line with 2 times 7, and 3 times 1 is on line with 3 times 7. I think you get the picture. Again, I'll fast forward. The red represents your 1 times table for the 10 in 17, and the blue represents your 7 times table for your 7 ones in 17. To calculate our 17 times table, however, we need to put these together, adding our 1s and our 10s separately. A little trick I use is taking the digit furthest to the right and placing that in my 1s, then add all the digits that remain to create my 10s. Let's have a look. 7 is my furthest digit, so I keep that and put that in my 1s. Add the rest of the digits, in this case there's only 1, and that creates 17. Then, 4 is my furthest digit to the right, that is my 1s. Add the rest of the digits, 2 and 1 makes 3, creates 3 10s giving me an answer of 34. Next, one is my furthest digit to the right, that is my ones. Add the rest of the digits, three add two makes five. Five is my tens, answer 51. Eight is my furthest digit to the right, that is my ones. Add the rest of the digits, two add four makes six, that gives me six tens. Create the answer of 68. Keep doing this until you have your multiples up until nine times. I'm going to put my multiples of 17 here so I can use them next. Now I'm ready for the division part. I'm familiar with the bus stop method, so I'm going to use that. 544 on the inside and 17 on the out. Now, just like the bus stop method you're familiar with, you're starting on the first digit. The first digit is five. How many times does 17 go into five? Well, my first multiple of 17 is already bigger than 5, so my answer is 0. I place my 0 on top. But I never use the 5, so the 5 still remains. It doesn't just disappear. I need to carry that along, just like I would with single-digit division. Now, I have 54. How many times does 17 go into 54? What I do is see how close I can get to 54 in my multiples without going past it. I can see 51 and 68. Well, 68 has gone past it, so it must be 51, which is 1, 2, 3, 3 times 17. I put the 3 on top, and I need to work out what I have left, because I haven't used all my 54. What I do, take my 54 and subtract 51, which remains 3. Big hint, use your subtraction method here, because if you don't, you might make a mistake. And often, there's a bigger difference than just 3. So, with the 3 that was left over, I carry that over. Now, I have 34. I can see that 34 is in my multiples, but I need to know how many times to put it on the top. I can see it's 1, 2, 2 times. I have nothing carrying, and no more digits to divide. So I know my answer is complete. And in SATs, you will never have anything carrying over when you're dividing by two digits. So if you have, you know you've probably made a mistake. 